guys just a um quick little video i am just getting off work and i am headed to starbucks because i am a starbucks addict and i will not deny that um i am i normally get a um iced blonde vanilla latte when I go but it it has like 270 calories and it has sugar in it and um whole milk so um what I am trying to do is find something that I like that um is not as sweet Sorry, I'm trying to drive and talk to you at the same time. So, I found this, um, this, it's like regular iced coffee, but at the top it has some cocoa, mocha, almond milk foam at the top. Um, but I know that in, under that is like plain black coffee, and I do not like plain coffee. So, what I did was I added two, I got a tall because I want to see if I like it before I start, you know, getting anything bigger, but, um, I added a, um, two shots of mocha syrup and, um, a splash of almond milk inside the coffee, too, and almond milk is good, good for you. I mean, it's non-dairy, which is good for pa heart patients because you're not getting cholesterol and sugar and you know, all that, and, um, this drink, before I added the mocha sauce and the splash of almond milk, only has, like, 30 calories, no sugar, barely any sodium at all, it's like nothing, no saturated fat, hang on one second, I gotta tell them I placed my order. Hi, welcome to Starbucks, what can I get for you? Um, I have a, uh, mobile order for Jennifer. Alright, we're working on that right now. You can go ahead and pull around to the window. Alright, thanks. Okay, so anyway, like, it was super good for me compared to anything else. And, um, I like, um, I don't like, I know, like, in my lattes and stuff, I could get, um, sugar-free vanilla syrup instead of the regular, but I don't really like doing the artificial sweetener thing because there's, you just hear so much bad stuff about artificial sweeteners. I think real sugar is better, even in moderation, of course. But, um, if I could get this one and like it and it's got you know, nothing in it, like no, like barely any calories. I mean, I think the mocha sauce for two pumps adds like 40 calories. But, nothing else like it's still like no sugar and or anything like that hardly at just a few milligrams or milligrams or whatever so um i'm pretty excited to try it um i think i'm still gonna like my lattes because i'm pretty addicted to those um i'll get the blonde vanilla ice blonde vanilla latte which has um a splash of milk um you can get non-fat or 2%. I think the standard is 2%. Um, but you could switch it, get heavy cream, whatever you want. I usually get what it comes with, which is the 2% or either the non-fat milk. Um, when I don't get that, like if they're sold out or something, I'll get the iced cafe latte. And it comes with the 2% milk like the blonde does. But it just doesn't have the syrup in it vanilla syrup so i'll get that and just add six pumps of vanilla syrup because i get a venti i'll be honest i get a venti that's why it's 270 calories um but still in the one i get is not that bad that's why i get it because there's like three grams of saturated fat um there is more sugar than i would like in a day there's like 41 grams of sugar in it um and, of course, it's got the regular milk, which is not dairy-free. Um, 
but it's it's better for me a lot better for me than some of the other drinks that they have here so and I have to get a treat every now and then right everybody has to treat themselves guess what today is Thursday and tomorrow's Friday and then Saturday is Halloween so I've got my Halloween cat earrings I've got a cat shirt that I wore with my scrub bottoms today to work um I don't even know if you guys know what I do I work at a cancer center I mix all the chemotherapy for the patients that get chemo um so I heal cancer patients I have a superhero job um love it I love the patients that we have I love everything about it love mixing their chemo knowing that what I'm doing and putting in that bag is what's making them better it's sad whenever you don't know if you're gonna see them again you know they get worse sometimes and go on hospice and things like that you never know when the last time you're gonna see them is but then you got the good days like where you have people that go into remission you know and they uh they um are cancer free so you just gotta look at the good stuff along with the bad stuff i guess the starbucks line is so slow this they usually go really fast i was not planning on this being a long video but like there's two cars in front of me and now one's finally moving i can move Okay, roll my window down so I can get my drink in a minute. I ordered something from Wish and it came in. I have to go pick it up because they have this thing where you can get cheaper shipping. And um, they'll ship it to like a local store if they participate in that or whatever it is. So I got to go pick it up like a um, necklace and earring set or something so I'm gonna see how that works I don't order a whole lot from Wish but these were those pretty like long leaf necklaces and earring sets that everybody wears now like the long leaf and I got a silver one a rose gold one and a black one because I like them so much hopefully they look like the picture all right, hang on one second. I got to get my drink. Nope. Oh, my goodness. It's taking so long. Do not plan on this being eight minutes. Just going to go right through the drive through and take a sip and tell you guys how I liked it. So what, I know a lot of people don't go to Starbucks because it's expensive and it is very expensive. Like I should not be going here like almost daily. But um, what are your favorite Starbucks drinks? Or if you don't go to Starbucks like um, Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts or even your homemade coffee. Like what, what do you guys like? Like what could I try? Especially if you got any healthy recipes, like, love to know. Because the less sweet, but as long as it tastes good, like, less calories, less saturated fat, I am all about that. Okay, so I think we're about to move. I don't know what this guy's doing. He just asked for a tray, and now they had to go, like, all over the store, apparently. Now he's asking for napkins. Okay. Okay. We're going. Thank you. 
need to. Alright, I'm gonna park for a second. Got a drink and a phone in my hand. Drink and a phone in my hand. I don't have a special place in my car to put my phone so I can do videos like other YouTube people. Because I'm not a big YouTube... I mean, I am a big YouTube person. I watch it all the time, but... I'm not like I used to be because I used to do videos all the time, as you guys probably know. So, okay. For some reason, this does not have my foam at the top. It's supposed to have that um, dark cocoa, um, dark cocoa almond milk mocha foam at the top. And then the bottom is supposed to be regular coffee but I got two pumps of mocha in the coffee plus a light splash of almond milk so maybe they just mixed it all up I have no idea it looks like there was foam you know what the line was so long and slow I bet that it had foam at the top and then it just um, made its way down because you can see it kind of um, at the top there so let's try it it looks good and chocolatey. That is pretty good. It's not very sweet. It actually tastes like, um, like it's, sorry, um, cocoa powder, like the unsweetened cocoa powder when you're cooking. But I was hoping the almond milk and the splash, the two pumps of mocha syrup that's in it would help it like be a little bit sweeter. But I mean, this is totally drinkable. I could get this and drink it. Like it's, it ain't plain black coffee and I just don't like plain black coffee. So it's got some flavor. And if I drink it with the straw, I don't get as much of the cocoa powdery flavor because I think that's what the, is more in the um, foam at the top. So that's what my little tag looks like. It's probably backwards in the camera, but it's a tall, um, what does that say? Tall cocoa, dark chocolate cocoa, mocha almond foam and then added two pumps of mocha and a splash of light almond milk and that is in a tall so if you were to get a grande or a venti you'd want to double the pumps of mocha like I guess if you get a grande you might want to do four if you get a venti you might want to do six and then more than just a light splash of almond milk I would put like a regular extra splash this is this is good like I feel healthier drinking this, definitely, than my lot, other latte thing, but I really like my other latte thing. I'm not going to give it up, but this is something good to alternate with it, so I'm not drinking the 270 calorie thing every single day. And y'all, I really don't even care what it tastes like. I just... I'm addicted to Starbucks. I can't help it. I had one. I had a, my latte this morning. Like I do almost every single day. And this is the afternoon. But you know what? I lost two pounds between yesterday and today. And I am watching my calories. Because I gained a few pounds back. Because my medicine, my heart medicine and stuff makes me gain weight. Or hard to lose weight. Um, so, I'm still like at 80 pounds lost or whatever instead of 90. But like, I don't know. It's just like the caffeine. Because I read that caffeine alone doesn't make you lose weight. But um, caffeine can jump start your metabolism and... Um, things like that so I don't know maybe it's like the, ca the caffeine because the past two days I've had like um two two drinks a day yesterday I had a 
latte and then a coffee and then a, today I had a latte and a coffee. I'm going to do an experiment. When I get home, I'm going to weigh myself in the, well, tonight and in the morning. And if I lose another pound or two, I'm definitely contributing that to this caffeine. So, I will give you a heads up on that. Hopefully, if I remember. But, I have got to get going because I got to pick up my Wish stuff. But, Saturday is Halloween, you guys. I'm not dressing up because I, did, I, I didn't plan ahead. But my son is and we're taking him trick-or-treating. And tomorrow, I am wearing a little, me and my friend at work, we just got little headbands. We have Halloween shirts and then we're going to wear the little bat headbands and it's got little bat tattoos with um, jewels you can put on your face. So that should be fun, but I'm going to have to get up extra early in the morning so I can fix my face. Got to look Halloween. You got to do the Halloween makeup, put on like darker lipstick and you know the eyeshadows. It's like purple and black or something like that and heavy eyeliner basically what I do now <laughs> I guess I'm always ready for Halloween I don't know why my eyes look like they're crying or something I'm not maybe I'm just so excited about getting my Starbucks alright you guys I'm going to let you go because it's been 17 minutes almost and I only planned on this video being like 5 so I'm sorry if I bored you guys so leave me a comment and like my channel and I hope you guys will continue to watch my little vlog videos that I do because it's my favorite thing to do I don't like to always cook but I plan on showing you my healthy heart healthy recipes and whenever we cook some of those at home so stay tuned for that but in the meantime I will probably see you I don't know I might do a video tomorrow or Saturday since it's Halloween so See you guys later. Thanks for watching.